Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So yesterday we had a comparison to the Bitcoin price and the DXY. Today we're just going to focus on the Bitcoin price and the CME because uh, the DXY of course is not trading today. All right, so we can start now with the one hour time frame here in the Bitcoin price because we have seen a nice surge in the price overnight. We came up to our previous support, which now could be acting as a resistance. So here at this $10,500 area and currently it looks like that we could gear up here for this $11,000 test the only problem is that we closed the cmes on friday at 10,350. so most likely we're going to retrace towards this price level on monday as soon as the cmes are starting again and also create a new future gap below of us but till we're going to close this cme gap if we're going to continue to trade in this area there is still a high chance that we could even reach this eleven thousand dollar target that we have but of course there are also some warning signs especially in the lower time frames because we are already getting here over bought and as you know during the weekend is always play time so that could be also big week to the upside or downside as long as we're trading in this area since we had this pump during the weekend and you can see here in the one hour that currently we are getting in overbought condition also my own indicator is giving sell signals right now so there is a high chance that we might see a little pullback here potentially to test one of the moving averages because currently they are all below of us and in the worst case i think we could go even down here to test the 200 moving average at 10,260. that is very likely and i think if we're coming down to these levels then maybe we will see also some continuation towards 9,800, maybe even lower to close also the big cme gap that we still have down here at 9600 dollar so i think if we're going to fill this cme gap then it should happen in the very close future so within this month of september in my opinion since also we are very very close to fill this gap already and of course we could go even first to 11k before we return down to 9600 to 9100 and also close this gap and uh, why $9,100? It's because there is our 200 daily moving average, which we're gonna have a look later on in the bigger time frames. And if we switch over here in the one hour in the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we are trading in the top area. So in theory, we could go again to test here this $10,600 level before maybe we're gonna see a pullback. But here the one hour is still looking very bullish. We are shifted to the upside. We have KST and MACD shifted to the upside. So we should see continuation here at least in the next couple of hours. Also the stochastic as you can see is cooling off here back in neutral condition so we could be gearing up here for another move to the upside. This is also looking like a bull flag like we had over here. So in my opinion there is a very high chance that we could go up here to test this 10,600 potentially even go up to $11,000. And now let's go over to the four hour time frame because here you can see clearly where I think we could topping out here if we see continuation to the upside. Because also here when we had this dump, you can see that this $10,600 level was the last step before we had another dump here. And the opposite right now during this pump, I think that here first we're gonna face some resistance and if you're able to push through, then watch out for this price level here at around $11,000. This is also where the 200 moving average is lining up here in the four hour time frame. So it looks like that if we're gonna have a pump here and a continuation to the upside, watch out here for the 200 moving average because this could be acting as a resistance and it's lining up exactly at $11,200. This is also where I'm scaling in some short positions positions right now in case that we are having a big pump towards this $11,000 and then retrace back down on Monday because this is I think what could happen at least if we're gonna pump during the weekend so during today also if you have a look into my own indicator it looks like that we could have a possible sell signal coming up during the day it's not nothing confirmed right now but it is possible we still have some room left to the upside you can also see the rsi is not yet in overbought condition so there is a high chance that we could see some continuation up to eleven thousand dollar and this is where we should decide then if we should open a big short position or if we're good to go again to the upside because if we are able to break eleven thousand dollar and also build up a support above here especially here above the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame it is very likely that we will go up here to at least test 12k again and maybe even go higher 
And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in the four hour time frame, here also you can see that currently we are overshooting it to the upside, so retracement back down to the two moving averages here, so between 10,440, maybe even down to 10,360 is very likely since we are getting also here a bit overbought, so I think a retracement back down to those levels is very likely to come and there maybe we're gonna see a bounce because this is also the area where we close the CMEs on Friday and where the price most likely is going to retrace before maybe a continuation here to the upside. And although you see that the stochastic is very overbought currently, KSD and MACD are still shifted to the upside. So far we didn't see a bearish cross, but if here we're going to start a bigger pullback here to the downside towards $10,400 and lower, here potentially we could get here a bearish cross and this could indicate that maybe we will go even lower than that, possibly even down again towards $10,000. This is what we're gonna have to see. But as I told you, I still think that the CME gap will get filled this month and it's just a matter of days maybe till we're gonna see this final move down to possibly also test the 200 daily moving average and close all the future gaps that we have below of us. And now we can go to the daily time frame because here you can see where the 200 daily is lining up here perfectly at $9,100. I think this price level is very key and especially if you want to open up some longs or buy back in into some Bitcoin that you took out here in this area of 12K, I think this is already the perfect entry point here, $9,100. And if we fall lower, then this could be like the last opportunity to buy really cheap. But $9,100, in my opinion, four digit Bitcoin is already very cheap. So here you can also see that currently my own indicator is giving a buy signal. So in theory, we should see now continuation to the upside. But since we have now the 20 daily and the 50 above of us, I think these two moving averages could act as a resistance, especially at the 20 daily at 10,700. 40. So this is where I think although we could face some resistance if we see continuation to the upside and we're not able to reach this $11,000, then I think here the 20 daily moving average could be a, a huge resistance, at least for now, because we're still trading here below the 50 level in the RSI. And if you're getting rejected from the 50 level and also from the 20 daily, this could indicate that we're going to see another leg to the downside, potentially to test the 200 daily moving average. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, here you can see that currently we're still trading between the two moving averages here, so between $10,300 and $10,900. So we could easily go up to this level here before we're gonna see a potential pullback down again maybe even down to 9,600. That is the bottom currently here of the Bollinger Band. That is very likely. But the KSD and MACD are looking now again more bullish in the daily. So if here we are getting a bullish cross, I think this could fire up the price even higher. So even higher than $10,900. Then I think we could even reach 12K pretty soon because MACD and KSD were very oversold currently. So if here we're gonna have a bullish cross, this could indicate that we're gonna have a big move to the upside. All the stochastic now shifted to the upside. It's just a matter of this 20 daily moving average and the RSI if we are able to go again above or not. And if we have a final look here into the weekly time frame, you can see that currently we are still bouncing from the 20 weekly moving average from $10,000, which is very bullish. Also, it looks like that this week we're gonna close above this moving average and that is the most important thing. So even if the beginning of next week will be bearish or something like that, if we're gonna have a week below the 20 weekly, everything is still good as long as we're closing these weekly candles above the 20 weekly moving average. RSI cooled off down to the 50 level, which is bullish. My own indicator gave a sell signal here in the weekly, so we could see potential continuation to the downside here in the next couple of weeks, but I think Probably September, October could be the last month which we could see some bearish action going on and afterwards we should start our parabolic move to the upside once we broke out from this huge resistance that came down here. So I think for the bigger picture we are still very bullish even though we could see some days or weeks of continuation to the downside and if we open up the Bollinger Band in the weekly also here you can see that we're still trading between the moving averages here so between $10,900 and $10,000 if we're gonna have a close below this midline of the Bollinger Band then be prepared that we could even drop down to $8,000 because this is still the bottom here of the Bollinger Band and if we have a major crash then most of the times we are bouncing here from the bottom of the Bollinger Band which is at $8,000 so be prepared 
prepared in case that you're scaling in long positions already from 10k on to be ready to manage your trade down to eight thousand dollar we have macd and ksd still shifted to the upside but if they're gonna have a bearish cross this could indicate into a big correction towards these targets here we already have the stochastic shifted to the downside so we are coming very close to oversold condition here we could see a bounce but we still have some room left to the downside also here in the stochastic all right guys and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up remember that if you also want to trade bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage so you can do a lot of gains also with smaller amounts then make sure to use the registration links that you find down below here in the video description with my link for example here on bybit or femex you can get some sign up bonus as well so definitely take advantage of these invitation links and if you're interested in my own indicator live stream then contact me over on discord and of course join our free discord trading chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye